So you've probably seen over the last few weeks has been update after update from Amazon. And for some reason, they just seem to be making things worse. Yes, they're trying to block a few apps here and there, but that's not what I'm worried about. This setting they have removed from your Fire TV device, I'm more worried about, and I'm more worried about it for you guys, okay? For your consent and for what you are doing on your devices and for your own privacy. So I'm gonna show you what's going on. When it comes to Fire Sticks, there's not much we can do. You may as well keep your device updated because they're gonna make you update it no matter what. You can go through all the silly little routes of trying to block it, but in the long run, for it to work correctly, it needs to be updated. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about because there's a setting in our privacy we used to get rid of and turn off and it's no longer there. They've removed it. So let me know if it's removed on yours as well. Before I get started, though, if you're new here, do make sure you hit that follow button and watch through till the end because I'm going to tell you about some of my raffles I am doing currently as well. So you'll see all about that at the end of this one. So what am I talking about? When you go into your settings, when you go into preferences, we cover this quite a lot. I've been in here many times and you go into privacy settings. In here, where's it gone? Remember this one? I'm going to paste it down underneath for you, the cookie consent. All about cookie consent and sharing your information where it can share your information with up to so many different third parties for advertising marketing. They've removed it from the privacy settings. All these other ones in here need to be turned off, but why have they got rid of and hidden that, that cookie consent? So you can't turn it on and off anymore on your Fire TV device. I know some of you didn't even have it on your device, um, and that was worrying as well. But let me know if yours has disappeared, because I know many of you, if you follow me, you would have turned it off already. So make sure you turn off the other ones, so make sure these are all off, app usage data, device usage data, this new manage sharing from apps, turn that off again. But the cookie consent has disappeared. The good news for you guys is I know how to turn it off still and make sure it's checked off. Okay, so on the website, so with this, you will need to go to the Amazon website itself. And I'm in mine here now. Here's a few of my devices. I have a lot, obviously I test them and I run my whole house pretty much on Fire TV devices. And what you can do, if you go into your like menu on the side, you will have one down here, which is manage your content and devices. You click that one. Let me move my head out the way. And then you have here, you'll have content, devices, preferences, and privacy settings. If you go along to privacy settings, and then Amazon device privacy, when you click on a device, let's just go on my fifth TV, down here we have cookie consent again. You have a lot of the other ones as well, but the cookie consent is in here. So you can make sure, look at that, cookie consent, that's turned on. These were all turned off on my devices. Always turned off. Okay. And again, let's change a different fire stick. That one's still off, but some have turned on and some are still off, but we want them all off. So there's no reason for them to be on. So they have been turned back on again. This fifth fire TV is the one I'm filming on. So it's the one I always turn stuff off on, always. So that's definitely turned back on, okay? So to make sure you are up to date on your fire stick, you wanna get all these turned off. So go to your site on Amazon, manage your content, Devices, you can have a look in here because if you've got any old devices, you can deregister them under here. You can also delete recordings in here. But the idea is device privacy. Click on your actual device and you can turn these off where they've turned back on again. Let's have a look on this one. That one's still off. That's great. But the odd ones are still back on. And if you've never done it at all, it's definitely worth checking. Okay. So when you fire stick, you turn all these off. And then you go on the website to turn that bit off. Obviously, for else with your, um, before I get onto the raffles, for your um, privacy as well, it is worth having a VPN on there as well. We will see. Right, so if you need a VPN, I will link one directly underneath. And my raffles are also on my new site, firesend.download, which we are using, which is a now an option where you can move files from your PC to your Fire Stick or any other devices. You can move stuff around i'm going to be doing a much bigger video on this so do make sure you hit follow but within it once you are logged in on a free account you get free raffles okay so you can enter the raffles here so you get a daily bonus which is some points and then you can use those points to enter the raffles okay um, or you can spin the wheel i think i've got a spin in today i get two a day because i'm vip which is a new feature coming soon you can spin the wheel you get your points and you can use them to enter a raffle whichever one you want to enter you can just click on it You've been entered into the raffle, good luck. 
and I've got three entries. Okay, simple as that. These are all free, and then you will get emailed as a winner, and then you reply with your postage address if needed, and we get it all out to you. These are all running. The link for these will be underneath as well, but it is just firesend.download. And if you actually have a look over this, what is actually available to do is huge for putting it on your devices and moving content around. We're going to be doing a lot going forward with this. And the main thing is it's going to keep you guys doing what you want to do, moving your apps around, your files. It doesn't, it's nothing to do, it doesn't have to be to do with streaming. You can move pictures, images, you can share things between all your different devices. This is just designed to make your life a lot easier, a lot easier. I've been working on a couple of apps. We've got another one here, which is going to be live within the next few days. I'm just testing, clearing out all your junk so get more storage on your device. This one's not in store quite yet, but it will be. So you'll be able to scan for your junk files, get rid of anything you don't want, like old APK files, things like that. So you don't clog up your device as well. We've got loads coming. We're working hard to make sure your devices are unsafe. And anything I do which works on a Fire Stick will work on your phone and it will work on your Android TV or your Google TV as well. Brilliant. So I've been Dr. Twiffy. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.